has definitely been, you know, this is a bit of like a, a captain's log, if you like. Uh, you know, I think what I've learned in the last 12 months from our social media activities is that I think it is very important to be showing as much as you can uh, around what you're doing um, and, and, and engaging with your audience. And I've heard, you know, I've, there's lots of people that I follow on social media and you hear them talk about how important it is to engage with your audience and, and to talk with your audience. But until you sort of digest it for 12 months and, and see the change that happens in the marketplace, people, uh, you know, I think, you know, until you see that change, you maybe don't really recognize it, how important it is. But I'm really seeing significant, I'm seeing a significant shift in how um, the marketplace and more importantly, you guys are reacting to best practice. So I really want to keep challenging you guys and asking the question, what can you physically implement today? What can you change today and do differently tomorrow that's going to see a, just a small improvement to your business? It's just, it's not big radical global shifts and improvement, it's just small little things each day to give you those incremental changes and that incremental improvement. And I can honestly say that this business is far better today than it was 12 months ago. And, and it's and it's the things that you don't see on camera, the little changes that we're constantly making, the little improvements that we're making in our business that are helping us to improve. And it's really something I want you to start thinking about. What can you change? What, what can you tweak in your business, that incremental improvement you can make to see you improve out into the future? Come here. Come here. So, um, you can start all that again. <laughs> We're going to Brown Brothers Skip Bins to present their certificates to them. And um, they are another one of our fantastic clients. They've done a really great job of organizing themselves and they've established a really great management system to implement their business plan. Maybe just a hand. Like that. Okay, it all the way into the camera. Let me preface this. If you're a one-man band and you're working part-time, you really gotta ask yourself the question, am I, is this a hobby? You're not an organization. So let's use the word organization. So an organization is a group of people and that group of people have an objective to become something bigger. So they're, they're gonna become something, you know, they've got a bigger purpose in terms of what they want to do and they want to influence, help, impact more other, more organisations, more people, more things. Oh, kind of elegant. That's just that's that's big. So we're trying to do some really important stuff here in our, for our blog and for our YouTube videos and Jack is looking out the window at Pelicans. Be a Pelican, not a Pelican. <laughs> so then that's what we talk about, control. So lots of our other videos talk about, you know, who, what, when, where and how. Well, the who, what, when, where, and how are the, okay, well, that's what we're gonna do about those things that we just identified in our, in our risk identification process. That's what I'll leave you with. Um, this is, you know, this is my view in the studio here, here at Best Practice. Um, you know, what, five minutes ago, I was sitting here with uh, Woodsy doing some contract reviews. Uh, we've got the sales team outside, I'm going to go and speak to the sales team, we're looking, we're doing marketing activities, I've been re reviewing P&Ls and balance sheets this morning with our uh, finance team. So, you know, a large part of what we're doing here at Best Practice, we're running a business every day. Part of running that business is showing you. So, let me know what you'd like to hear more of um, and, uh, and we, can, we can start accommodating that and, um, and building that into our plan. So um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for your time. I'm uh, very grateful. And um, thanks for watching and uh, enjoying everything we do here at Best Practice TV. Bye for now. Oh, that's so yeah, the advice would be to read the yes, standard, that's... understand the standard, because if you go through that process yourself, you can document a good management system uh, that obviously won't come back with lots of comments and slow down your certification process. So it's good to self-educate, read the standards, go through our gap analysis checklist and um, should put you in a better state for uh, the stage one document review and in the end the stage two certification assessment. Then if we pop my back. It's Christmas.
look at this. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Leave the gears running. See his head? Same size as mine. <laughs> Life size. See these guys? See these two guys here? They're running Australia at the moment. See that? That's the steering wheel of Australia. <laughs> Mm. That's still on. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs>